What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Happy Thursday. Back to the normal schedule. We're back in Ohio. Uh, hopefully, uh, you all are doing well. You had some sales today. Today was slow. <clears throat> we'll get into that for me. We'll get into unboxing. I just got a box today from my one of my suppliers with uh, some jerseys in them. Talk about also uh, the second time I went to the thrift store in Utah. So we'll go over um, what I picked up, show you why I picked it up, and then uh, see how you guys are doing. So let's see who's here. Scott's first. How you doing? Super generic. Hard of Dixie Flipper. What's going on? Alan. Thrill the Hunt. Isaac. How you doing? Mike. The Crazy Card. What's up? Sue Ann, how you doing? Blackberry? Uh, Sue Ann, I hit up uh, Desiree. I'm going to say it wrong. I'm going to say it wrong again. DI, uh, that uh, thrift store owned by the Mormon Church. I hit him up again the next day. So for those of you that are just joining, Day Lilies and more, thanks for coming. Hardy Dixie Flip Flipper at five. Mike, how you doing? Mike, how many sales do you have today? Mike usually has some awesome sales. Uh, 40 Bay, one Mercari. Uh, so I was in Utah for, what, three days, three and a half days. Left Sunday evening. Got back last night at midnight, uh, 30 minutes past midnight. Flight, they had to replace a panel. I guess the auto control, autopilot panel was all jacked up. So I was sitting there for uh, about an hour, an hour and a half. Finally got home, got home last night, <clears throat> boxed up 23 items, got them out the door. <clears throat> Today I was a little tired. I took uh, I took the day off, but I still worked a little bit on my day job and uh, on this job as well. So before I left, though, before I left, I hit up DI one more time. I'm going to show you what I picked up. I picked up some awesome things. Now, it's just like any thrift store I hit. Uh, I always feel like I'm picking up stuff I left the day before. So that's kind of why I go back. Uh, I'll show you what I picked up, but awesome things. Tanya, $100 coat with $8 profit. That's awesome. Cool as cat. How's it going? Throw the hunt. Grabbed a jacket from the closet to list. Whoa. Oh, um, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know how to say that name. Hermengeldo Zenga. If you can find that brand, uh, ties do well as well also. Uh, I think they have shoes, any clothing, I think, from that brand as well. Vintage Christmas stuff? Yeah, guys, get your Christmas stuff li listed. Uh, I've seen a bunch of, um, what is it, those uh, ugly sweaters. Those sell well. So if you have Christmas stuff, get it up. Joey, I don't know if Joey's in the chat. Joey held on to his uh, discount Christmas stuff for, for a year. I crushed it this year. That's nice. Stuck in a hotel in D.C. at the moment. Sue Ann, where at in D.C.? My wife's family's from uh, what, uh, Reston. So down in that same area. Hopefully you get out. Uh, Pac-Man, how's it going? Lisa, what's up? Vicky, how you doing? Newcastle Prim United Premier League, I'm guessing Jersey. Yeah, guys, Jersey. Don't pass up Jersey. So this was surprising for me. This right here. Uh, Newark is a city in Ohio, and I'm assuming it's from the city of Newark, Ohio. It was at a thrift store, picked it up. Uh, what I liked was that it was a big patch, something unique I've never seen before. Donna used to live in Reston, really? Wow. Uh, yeah, Newcastle soccer jersey. That's a good pickup. So I picked this up with the uh, U.S. flag on it. It has the sewn in numbers on the back. Now, I don't know if it was a high school team, it was a rec league team. I have no idea. So I picked it up. I had it up for a little bit, a couple months. Someone came in uh, yesterday, best offer. And I liked best offer just because in Utah, I can go back and forth and not have to worry about shipping it out. Uh, if you want to wait a couple days to give your offer back, that's also an option. But since I extended my handling time, that was uh, that was an issue. But you have the two-day, I think it's what, 24 hours to answer, 48 hours? So 
I sold that. I took uh, twenty-two dollars for it. I'll take it. I had it for a bit. Take some profit. Uh, Days Lily is more. Took your advice in a video. Listed some small items. Did great. Made a sales today. Awesome. Uh, we'll talk about also uh, how I'm diversifying some of my new stuff and how it's working out. Because I actually worked today, which is crazy. But yeah, uh, Day Lilies and more. That's awesome. Take some stuff around your house. List it. Uh, I say it's free, but you have nothing to lose. It's the stuff you've already paid for. If you're not using it, get rid of it. Make some money, make some money, and uh, invest it back in it. Oh, you're near DuPont Circle. Okay. Lived in Arlington, 95. Lots of places in Maryland. Oh, great. Hey, Wade, what's up? Hey, new buddy. Sales have gone through the crapper on all platforms. Yeah, today I think today was slow. Don't get discouraged, guys, when you have slow days. All you got to do is make up for it. Put some more stuff out there. Um, look at different options to buy things. Go out there, look on websites. So uh, I have a couple contacts I use. Contacts I use from uh, ASD in Vegas. Some suppliers I go through. I get emails all the time. I just got another email today from them saying, "Hey, we got this truckload in of fleeces. Do you want some?" So I bought some. I'll have that video. I think it's supposed to get here Saturday. Maybe uh, keep you posted on that. Alan Fulmer been selling on eBay in the beginning of November. I've reached my goals of 500 in sales in 60 days, and now 1,000 next 1,500. Alan would love to see how your journey go and keep us posted. Hey, Justin, what's up? Justin, I was actually watching your uh, reseller white noise before I came on tonight. So if you're not subbed to RVA Flip, head over there and give them a sub. Great content, getting people together, discussing. Uh, I like the, the, the show you had where it's just hanging out. I, I tend to learn uh, much more when people just hang out and just talk and comments and seeing what people buy. JB Flips, two eBay sales, seven Amazon, 49 on merch. Whoa. I have yet to have one Amazon merch sale. I don't know what it is. Maybe my design suck, but uh, nothing on Amazon merch for me. Dario City Picker, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Lots of good content. Great to work to. Yeah, so that's a lot of time too with YouTube. I'll throw channels on and I'll just throw them in the background as I list, take pictures. Yeah, Donna, reach out. Uh, Facebook me uh, personally or go through uh, the Liquidation OH Facebook group. The page is, the Facebook page is kind of slow. Uh, but yeah, best way to do that as well. All right, so two things I want to start. Let's start with my thrift pull. I did this one last thrift before I left Utah, and uh, I don't. I try to pack lightly just because I know I'm going to thrift when, whenever I travel for my day job. Uh, but I bought a lot more than I expected, and uh, I was busting at the seams. I was lucky my roll-on fit up in the, the overhead, so I shoved it in there. I was my backpack carry-on was also full, so I'm going to show you what I picked up backpack-wise, and I'm give you a little tips of what I picked up and why. So this is, I first saw this. I've sold one of these before, Callaway zip-ups. I've sold a peach one before. This is all white. Be careful with all white because all white, you get stains in the armpits as well as random spots. I have not found a stain yet. I'm sure I find a stain. I will find a stain when I list it. But uh, these Callaways do okay. They do command the price. You're probably just going to sit on it for a bit. This was an eight dollar, uh, six dollars. So when I thrift at the thrift store, uh, if I find the first thing that I find is high priced, I kind of put it in the cart with the expectation I'm going to put it back, just because. Um, six dollars. I paid a little up for it, but. I want to find other things that will be able to pay off for the increase, right? I would expect to pay about four, three to four dollars for this, but uh, great condition. So I threw it in there with the expectation I'm going to find better stuff. Probably if this was the only thing I found, I would have left it. But here's what I found after that. All right. So this is awesome. Look on the back, West Point City. 
I'm assuming this is the Black Knights Army football team. This is two dollars. A two dollar polo shirt. You can't find that anywhere. Dry fit. Uh, it is screened, but it's striped, which is pretty cool. Look at this. And that's the Black Knights logo for uh, West Point football. Uh, I'll do a little more research, but when it says West Point City, that's what the city part throws me. So I have this one, Nike uh, Golf, as well as this one. I found the white one. So when there's one, there's others. Again, West Point City on the back, striped with the same uh, logo. So this right there, if I just found those, I would have pulled the Callaway Golf shirt. So those are awesome. Um, I knew I'd make my money right back there. West Point football, that should cover it. Vicky, hopefully you feel better. You're getting sick running around stores. Everyone is coughing. Yeah, you're getting into cough season now. I was over mine. Finally over mine. Hopefully I don't get one again. Knock on wood. So hopefully you get better. All right, so here's one I picked up. I haven't looked up this. I tend to pick up... Uh, Under Armour shirts, even if they're local high schools. Um, I usually hang on to them a little longer, but they're pretty cool. I mean, uh, even with local colleges, so Sky Ridge Falcons, which is even better is it's my size, so I could probably wear this to work. Uh, but this, for an Under Armour shirt, I cannot believe this is $2. Look at that. I paid $2 for a large polo shirt I couldn't leave a two dollar shirt behind Justin says love golf polos Nike oh Nike's great PM summer comfort that's right Peter Millar yeah Sue Ann that's why I don't know if West Point Army I I have to uh, do a little more research dry fit stuff sells well in lots start city picker says check your local shop goodwill and pick up items at your local store I've done that. I used to do that a lot. Uh, the crappy part about the pickup of one of the uh, locations that they did have was when I'd win stuff online, I'd have to pick it up between like 9 and 3, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. It was absolutely impossible because it was like 30 minutes away. So that's kind of the uh, caveat for Shop Goodwill, at least for me. And uh, where my day job is versus where the pickup is. Sue Ann says, there's a West Point City right near where you were. So if it's local high school, I'm just going to list it as is. and put West Point City, uh, Black Knights football. Uh, I will not put Army to mislead uh, the listing. But I'm sure someone in there with that logo. That's a cool logo. Uh, and their mascot is the Black Knights. Interesting. Sue Ann, thanks. It was a competitor high school for some friends of mine that live in Utah. So it's a great polo shirt. If I don't sell it, I'll probably wear it. All right, I'm going to save the best thing for last here. This, uh, another thing, I could, this was 50 cents. Look at that. 50 cents at the uh, DI store. But this is a Manchester United youth. Soccer shirt, sewn in patch right on the chest there, as well as Adidas, uh, and it's the Climb a Cool Adidas. So 50 cents, that was a steal in itself. Uh, found this one, Majestic, Colorado Rocky zip up. This was $8, so I paid up a little bit for this one, but uh, it is sewn in on the patch. This stuff I will pay up for for jerseys. Anything that it has a pretty cool style for, uh, I will pay up for. Uh, Majestic is a great brand, uh, and I will sit on it. I won't lower the price. I'll let it go. So there you go. MLB Authentic, Majestic. Uh, performance Apparel. This is actually extra large. Uh, cool Base. The Cool Base Majestic does really well. And it's got the uh, MLB on there. So don't be afraid to sit on stuff, guys. I mean, I've already paid for what I – I forget. Uh, I don't know where I put the receipt, but I think I paid $38 a second trip. Uh, don't be afraid to sit on stuff. Just because some of the stuff I picked up I know will sell, uh, and uh, just let it ride. I mean, you're going to make your money. Just put some stuff up there and uh, 
uh, get some sales. Uh, soccer is quick and easy money for me. Yeah, pick up soccer stuff. I can't stress that enough. Jerseys of any kind. I mean, local jerseys. And don't pay $20. Like, they had a Von Miller uh, women's uh, jersey. It was pink. It was really cool. Sewn in everything. They wanted 20 bucks for it. I left it behind. Uh, that would have been an easy sale. It was awesome. Day lilies and more have a coke on me. I will. I appreciate the super chat. Hopefully the content helps you out. Uh, before we get too late in the show, uh, stay tuned on Sunday. The resellers in Fortune, Fortune and Reselling, I'm sorry, will be on this channel. Will be Scott the Bearded Picker, Rising Ryan Picker, and I believe we have a special guest. So stay tuned. That'll be uh, Sunday evening, 8 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, it's sure hard to not to bring back everything. So I I bought everything. I'm so glad it fit. There's a pull down for areas. Yeah, so uh, looks like Donna asked about Shop Goodwill. Shop Goodwill is a great resource. You just got to be picky on it. You can uh, search for certain items in your area, and then you can learn where the pickup is. Make sure you read all the details. Uh, and it's just like eBay. You you uh, bid on it. You win it, and you, you're going to be able to pick it up. Be careful of shipping. Shipping can get high. So Shop Goodwill is a great resource, but just be wary of it. Uh, I actually picked this up for myself. I'll probably list it, but it's an Under Armour loose fit. This brand in polo shirts does really well. Uh, Catalyst loose Under Armour. I only paid $3 for it. Uh, it fits me, but... Sometimes when I'm go, I go places now and I thrift, I like to pick up stuff local uh, to the area I'm in. So uh, I pick that up. I'll probably wear it. I will list it. If it sells, it sells. But otherwise, I'm going to wear that one. This one's cool, too. I'm going to wear this also. Uh, I still play indoor soccer. I played in college. So I try to keep as active as possible. I play on the weekends. On Sundays, the team I play on is red. And I love schools, guys. I love logos, right? So I picked this up. This is Dixie State. Uh, I don't know what division they are, so I got to look it up. But uh, I picked up a Nike Dixie State jersey. There's a couple there. Uh, this was $4. So I figured $4. I will list it also. But uh, it's kind of cool with the, the logos on it with the Adidas on the back. It has a number as well as the Red Storm. But uh, cool. I, I love jerseys. So I think with red, I'd be able to wear it. So pick that up. All right. So here's the find of the day. Before we get to the box, if you guys ever find one of these, pick them up. This, I did not find this. What, when did I go? It was, uh, shoot. Let's see, today's Thursday, Wednesday. It was Tuesday. I went Monday. So I went Monday to the store. I went back Tuesday. Tuesday, I found this. This was uh, hidden in the back. Now, I could have missed it. So don't get me wrong. I could have easily walked over it. Uh, Mike says, picked up a box of neckties for 14 Whoa, Verchot, Versace, Griloni, Stefano, Ricci. Awesome. I just sold a lot of lower-end ties for uh, 35 bucks. So... Uh, Ties are especially you lock them up. They did sit for a little bit, so give them a chance. All right, so I paid six dollars for this. Six bucks. Look up this brand. You guys, if you guys see this brand, pick this up. Oops. It's called Scotty Vest. R F I D Travel Vest. And I don't know what the tech is. T E C. This is men's double XL. Oh, they're D1. That's awesome. There's a couple uh, Dixie State polo shirts, but there's no movement on them. I left them. But I love finding like school stuff like that, especially uh, I say un or no name schools. My college I went to was no name, but uh, I like finding unique schools like that that no you won't find in the wild. Like you're gonna find OSU around here all the time. So uh, I like finding those schools that are kind of out of the blue. All right, so Scotty Vest, look at this thing. So this is RFID blocking. 
And what's unique about this vest is there's pockets all over the place. If you search this vest, uh, I quickly looked. They were retailing for about 80, uh, 80 and up. There's pockets. And you got pockets there. Let me unzip it here. Look at this. So look at that. It's got all these pockets. You can shove everything in them. Um, ID, Wi-Fi, phone, tablet, uh, ID. And you can shove like iPads. You can shove every electronic device you have and pretty much wear this. Uh, and then here you go. And what's nice is, is this, uh, I'm not sure if this is ID'd, but just like the Tumi suitcases, a lot of the high-end stuff, they'll ID it. So you know it's pretty uh, awesome. There you go. There's more there. Um, glasses, another tablet pouch. So pretty cool. So I'm going to, this is going to be my money maker right here. That vest from Walmart. No, is it really from Walmart? That vest was on Shark Tank. Vest for hiking? I'm not sure. Now, if I miss, if I miss looked it up, let me know. But I thought Scotty Vest was a high-end uh, prepper vest. That's right. Um, all right. So, but what's even cooler, and I, I like this stuff. When I mean, we've probably all come across this as we thrift and pick stuff up and buy secondhand. Even when I buy stuff on liquidation, I see the invoices. You see notes and like notes and uh, stuff like that. But uh, I've not looked this up yet. This guy left person left their business card in here. And what's pretty interesting is uh, this person was an electrical consulting tech engraving. Uh, that was his business, I guess. And uh, he was from, from Ivan's, Utah. There you go. I'll hide that. But there you go. Kind of cool. His business card's in there. But uh, just find it like some guy used this. He used it, looks like he used it a ton, but a ton of people in this world. It's crazy. You think about uh, what people do, what people buy, what people use them. This guy probably used this a couple times and donated it. But yeah, so there you go. That was the find of the, the find of the trip right there. I had a couple other cool polos I did list high, but I think that's more guaranteed money than what I'm looking for in my polo shirts. Uh, do you still bid on auction sites like liquidation? Uh, Day Lilies, yes, I do. Uh, I'm going to make a concerted effort. I am off from my day job from today all the way through July or yeah, July. Yeah, I wish July, uh, January 2nd. So uh, I'm going to make a concerted effort these next uh, two and a half weeks to look for liquidation. I want to try and find something just because with um, uh, returns coming up Christmas, people are going to return things. Uh, I do want to find a liquidation lot. I want to, they, they've just been so high recently. So uh, throw the hunt, found some Oakley awesome tournament logos. They were like new two to $4 each. Those are great finds. So, no, Mr. Sadie, not through July. I wish it was. It was a J month. It should, I should have said January. January 2nd. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to try and focus on some liquidation. I want to win some stuff, bring them back in, get back into it, just because liquidation is fun. When you get that stuff, you get uh, you get you get some brand new items. You'll get some broken items, but it's, it's the thrill of it. So uh, just to keep you guys updated, that's what I'm going to look at doing. Uh, at least these next two weeks. We will have a December liquidation code, so stay tuned. Got a two-week vacation. Yes. What do you look for in liquidation lot? Uh, p and I have a list of certain items I look for currently, like Nintendo's one of them. Certain units I'll look for. Uh, I look for manifested, and I stay to the liquidation uh, seller. I do not venture off the, uh, the third-party sellers. That's where you hear some people say, hey, I bought something. It wasn't as represented. Stick to a source from source from Amazon, liquidation. Basically, the warehouse is going to be Plainfield, Indiana, uh, and uh, Vegas, Nevada, Las Vegas. 
So uh, stay tuned just to those two warehouses if you're starting out. Shamrock Pixie, how's it going? Uh, consumer electronics, yes, that's mainly what I'll stick to. Uh, I do do tools as well as some housewares, but that's the order. It's about 80% uh, electronics, 10% tools, 10% housewares, if I had to uh, give them a percentage. But yeah, it's consumer electronics. And keep in mind, I'm looking for certain brands. I'm not looking for brands that I'm not going to find. Um, some of these lots that you look at liquidation have these random headphones at the top, uh, no name items. You want to stick to the big name. You want to stick to the Sony's, the Nintendo's, uh, the Bear Dynamic headphones, the Pet Cubes, the Ring doorbells. You want to stay to the high end stuff to be in the top 10% of your items. Otherwise, if you start looking at liquidation with these low end brands, uh, you might get burned because it might say the MSRP for 200 bucks. You look on eBay and they're selling for 20. So do your research on the manifest. Uh, so the hubby was wondering if the dogfish head sign was for sale. Um, so you can see here. I, th I thought about selling it, but there is, so there's all my dogfish stuff there. There's Maui Brewing Company. Some uh, local dogfish, dogfish. I'm thinking about selling. I don't know if I'm going to sell it. Maybe if you make me an offer I can't refuse, I'll sell it. But I can't believe I found that. But, yeah, reach out to me. If you're interested, let me know. Almost everything's for sale. It all depends. All right, so let's get in my box. I got a box. Just got delivered. This was from my wholesale source, wholesale closeout. Uh, they're jerseys. I actually just sold one on Mercari. So we talked about diversifying your selling channels. All the new stuff I'm getting in, I stuck to uh, eBay. And I stuck it all to eBay, and I started putting a little a little bit of it to uh, Poshmark. eBay, some of the stuff, it was like clockwork. These jerseys were selling like crazy. Now I have all these other brand new jerseys, uh, different logos, different players that might have been traded. I said, why not? Why not diversify it? So I said, I took the same titles off eBay. I uh, copy and pasted, put them into Mercari, put them into Poshmark, and put them into, what's the other one? Poshmark, Mercari. Uh, I think that's it, and eBay. So uh, basically, I'm putting them on all Mercari. Since I did that, I did that this morning. I had one sale already from one of them. The only thing I don't like Mercari is you can't do... Uh, multiple quantities or sizes so you have to i create a listing for each so far it's worked so i'm going to keep doing that i ordered the same player so here let me show you here let me flip you down shamrock pixie sorry to hear about your brother uh brother-in-law have you heard of a clothing company named tiger of sweden i have not all right, so I'm going to open this here. This was the box I received. Uh, it's another one of those yogurt boxes. But uh, just be I always try to be careful with these just because I don't want to slice the jerseys. Now, what I do, and I don't know if this is a tip or a trick or whatever, but when I sell brand new, brand new stuff, brand new jerseys, uh, I put, put them in box. I put them in box boxes, but... If the seam is like this and the jersey is kind of flush against the top of the seam, I will message the buyer and say, hey, make sure when you're slicing your box open with a brand new jersey, make sure you don't slice too deep because you're going you're gonna to slice the jersey, even though it is poly bag. So I send that note just to be safe. So they take care when opening it. Now, what's nice about this wholesaler is they usually – put a piece of cardboard down so I don't slice it through it and what's nice about this is now they're they're running low on these jerseys uh, but I'm able to place an order and replenish the quantities that I have so let me move this back here so see what they did here they put that through the seam this seam they put this piece of cardboard so I wouldn't slice through it. 
Genius. Genius. All right. So basically what I ordered, here's my jerseys. Brand new Avalanche. Brand new tags. You can see right there. Uh, sizes. Reebok. Uh, what did I order? 30, 10, 20, 30. So there's 30 jerseys in here. 10 extra large, 10 large, uh, 5 small, 5 medium. So that's pretty much it right there. I've already have listings for all of them. I'm just going to up the quantities. I'm going to count against what they sent me to make sure I have all the right amounts. Uh, and this is a supplier I met at ASD. There was someone in the chat, shoot, probably two weeks ago that won an ASD book. Uh, I'm going to get that out to you. Sorry, I'm a little slow at getting that out there. But uh, same supplier. And when you're when you're buying jerseys or you're buying anything, search the model number, search the brand, and make sure it, you're not buying last year's model or you're okay with it. Jerseys tend to do really well depending on uh, team, brand, player, et cetera. This player still plays on the team. The problem with these is – uh, this is Reebok. Reebok was uh, last year's uh, sponsor or supplier of jerseys. They have since changed to Adidas. So obviously, if you're buying this year, Adidas is the brand new jerseys. Um, could could uh, command more money. But Reebok, last year's model, jerseys still do well. Brand new, still tags. So uh, definitely just be, be aware of the what you're buying. Ask what the brand is. Do your research. Uh, look what the big name stores are selling it for. So that'll give you an idea what to look for. Uh, sorry, new to your channel. Do you uh, know a lot about sports stuff? Yes, I love sports. No offense. Shamrock Pixie, no offense. Everyone asks questions. Um, I would say no offense to you guys if I talk down real basics. I'm trying to include everybody, the people that know a little bit versus the people that know a ton. Um, so yeah, no offense. Ask away. I love sports. Uh, I try to keep in, I mean, with sports, you got to know about teams, what teams are real important players, uh, players. Are they still on the team? Did they get traded? Uh, the brand of Jersey Reebok versus some off brand. I've seen soccer jerseys that, uh, have these, uh, random companies on them. You're only going to get 10 to $15 for them. Um, Counterfeits, you got to look for counterfeits. That could be a whole different show. But uh, Mr. Sadie, yes, I sell them on eBay. My main source of these jerseys are eBay. Uh, second source, Poshmark, and then Mercari. But, yeah, eBay, uh, I have. Uh, I had the third jersey. So third jersey is kind of the, is the third jersey for the team. But it's usually there's unique designs on them, different colors. I bought a bunch of the Avalanche third jerseys. Those things have sold like fire. Uh, I sold them for about $78 a piece and I would have three sales a day, a day on those. These are the normal ones. These logos are their uh, normal home jerseys. Uh, what's nice about this, Nathan McKinnon is the person on this jersey. And uh, he's a really good player. So those jerseys do well. I know nothing about sports, just that can be a very good seller. Yes, my only recommendation is do not, if you see a jersey, look up the brand as well as the team. And then if there's a player on it, double check the player still plays for the team. Or if it's a Hall of, a Hall of Famer, uh, even better, right? So we have a pair of shoes that my brother-in-law had that we have no clue about them and cannot find them anywhere. They have to do with sports, so we know. Shamrock Pixie. So for those of you that are not part of the group, head over to uh, Liquidation OH, the Facebook group. I'm, I'll put a uh, link right here. Please post pictures of what you find, post pictures of questions you have, or just post pictures of what you're doing or stories. We'd love to hear how you're doing. I hear about daily updates. Uh, head over there. Uh, Join the group. We'll accept you. And uh, Shamrock Pixie, put a picture in there. We'll help you find out what it is. Tiger of Sweden is a clothing company in Stockholm, Sweden. Interesting. 
So, yeah. And then it's just tips and tricks of looking stuff up. You'll get, as you start looking things up, sports teams. Uh, I sold an ECHL polo shirt used for $36. I sold that uh, when I was in Utah. I actually just shipped it out this morning. It's an old team. Uh, they changed their name. Dude, stay away from the house. And that's it. Hey. Oh. Listen, My DVR stopped recording. All right, guys. That's all I had tonight. Thanks for coming on uh, Thursday evening. Let's see what day is it? 13th. Oh, uh, let's do a code. Let's do a code this weekend. Let's do a liquidation.com discount code. Uh sat let's do Saturday. So uh we'll do a Saturday giveaway. Stay tuned. Come on a live show, and uh, we'll do a drawing, and uh, hopefully you win. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming on. Hopefully that helped. Love showing you guys what I buy, but even more important, I love seeing and hearing about your sales as well as what you pick up. So thanks for coming. Have a great night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. See ya.